As many of you know, Revit for Architecture and Building Information Modeling, or BIM, go hand in hand. But how do we start a project in Revit? How do we work in Revit? Well, I've set up a real simple example. I've got several views of my building model open. My floor plan, my elevation view, 3D view, and door schedule. Now with Revit, I can work in any of these views and know that all other views are being updated and showing the correct information. So let's go ahead and add some walls to our building. I select the wall type I'm interested in. And then we'll just start by putting a rectangle in. With Revit, as soon as I add that building geometry, it updates in the east elevation view and 3D view. I don't have to force the creation of that elevation view. It's done automatically. Now because Revit's a parametric change engine, I can use these temporary dimensions shown on screen to adjust the size of my building. Let's go ahead and add a couple doors to the floor plan. I'll grab the door tool, grab the door type that I want. We'll do a double hinged. And when I place that door, it automatically shows up in my door schedule and it numbers it. I'm going to go ahead and change that to door 101, which I can do from the schedule or the plan, and then add another door. Notice it follows the numbering system, door 102, and if I was to add another a door, it would be door number 103. So make a change once and it updates across the entire project. Now that you can see that this is happening, let's go ahead and maximize the level 1 view and just flush this plan out. I want to add some more geometry to the building. So we'll add a couple more walls. Maybe we'll give the east elevation here a curved wall. Give it a little more personality. And you know what, maybe we want to swap that curved wall out for a curtain wall. It's as easy as selecting the wall, swapping it for a curtain wall. From here, let's add some windows to our plan. We can pick the size of window we want and just drop these in. We can use the dimensions on screen to be very accurate about the placement of the windows. Or we can come back and adjust the placement of the windows later. Let's add one more door, maybe a single hinge door over here on the entrance of the building. So now we've made all these changes to the plan and as you might have guessed the elevation view updates and the 3D view updates as well as the schedule. Again any changes I make to the building model in any view will update across the entire project. Now with Revit I don't have to work in just the plan view and expect all other views to update. I can work in whatever view makes the most sense. So here we are in the elevation view. I have a couple windows that have been placed. Each one changes independently from the other. I want to go ahead and change the size of these. I can do that by selecting them and picking a new size from my list. And then I want to make a copy of those up to the second level. So that makes sense. I want to work in the elevation view to be able to see how these changes affect the exterior of my building. Now I have four windows that all act or change separately from the other windows. I can adjust the location of these using all of the temporary dimensions on screen. Now because Revit is a parametric change engine, I can build relationships. So I can say I want to align those two windows and then lock in that relationship. I'll do the same thing for the other two windows. That means any change I make to this window automatically affects the window below it. Now because I've built that relationship in, it doesn't matter again what view I work in. So I'll work in my plan view or my 3D view. And I know that a change made to one window, so if I drag this one over here, will always affect the other window and update all of the other views. So using Revit for architecture, I can rest assured that a change made in one view always affects the other views. I can also build in relationships using that parametric engine so I can build in code compliance and know that one change to a building properly affects other components or pieces of that building model. So starting a project working inside of Revit is fairly easy as you can see here in this example and it's a great way or a great product to use for building information modeling.